Hi, welcome to ShowMeTheCurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja, and today we're going to show you how to make pineapple raita. Mm -hmm. Sounds wonderful, it, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> I can just feel the mm, tartness of the pineapple. <laughs> Love pineapple. <laughs> right. Now, this is not only just had as a, a side thing, it can actually be had as a main dish mm -hmm. along with like rice. A or a, yeah, yeah, or like, like a sabzi. Yeah, with chapatis, yeah. It's substantial, it's hearty, it's cooling, it's wonderful and very easy. Yep. So. So we have uh, two cups of yogurt over here and I'm just going to beat it and just make it smooth. So right here we have an 8 ounce can of pineapple chunks and the good thing about this is that it comes in its own pineapple juice. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this juice and add it to the yogurt. Now you don't want to add too much because you know you still want it to be uh, retain its thickness. But depending on um, how thin or how thick your yogurt is, you can just add a little bit in, and it's going to provide a nice pineapple flavor to the yogurt, yes. and and thin it down just a little bit. And for the rest of the juice, I'm just going to strain it out because we're not going to need any more for this recipe. I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of salt, uh, or to taste, just mix it in. Now this is uh, reta, which is the sweetness comes from the pineapple and it's a little spicy and of course the tartness comes from the, the sourness comes from the yogurt. Mm -hmm. So it's a great combination. It you know? is, it is. And you can actually replace uh, the pineapple with green apples, you can, you know, or with a, uh, basically mixed fruits, anything yeah. that kind of retains uh, their sh uh, shape, it doesn't become mushy when you uh, put it in the reta. Right. And you can actually use fresh pineapple. Uh, the reason we like the, the chunk pineapple is, again, we like to flavor the yogurt with a little bit of the pineapple juice mm -hmm. that's there. But if you don't have uh, canned pineapple available and you have fresh pineapple, it works just as well. Yeah. So now we're going to work on the seasoning and show you how easy this is to put together. So in a small skillet, we have uh, one tablespoon of oil heating up. <laughs> and we're going to add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds or rye. And I'm also going to add in one whole dry red chili. I'm going to add in a, add in a sprig of curry patta, green chili to taste, finely chopped, and a teaspoon of ginger, minced. and the can of pineapples. Now we've cut them up into little smaller pieces. Choice is yours. We just allow the pineapple to soften up just a little bit. And after just about one minute or so, we're gonna switch off the stove and add the pineapple to our yogurt mixture. And we're just going to mix it. So our pineapple raita is ready to serve. Look at it. It looks so yummy. And I think um, the, the juice adds to it. But whenever you do use fresh pineapples, it has a little different flavor. Right. So if you're using fresh pineapples, I suggest you, know, you grate it so that it's you know, smaller chunks. And cook yeah. it a little longer because it is raw and you need to, to soften up. You don't want it to be very uh, you know, chewy. And uh, uh, but of course, unless your <laughs> pineapple is super sweet and super soft, then of course you don't have to. It looks yummy. I'm going to try it. Okay. Mmm. It's delicious. Sweet. A little bit of salt. A little bit of tartness. And, and some spice. spicy, <laughs> yes. I think that's a key. It has to be a little on the spicy yes. side. It really adds a lot of flavor. Yeah, the, all the all the flavors have to be, you know come together mm -hmm. because you can actually feel them at different times because the sweet, the salty, and the sweet and the spice they all come at different. You know, you taste them at different times whenever you take a bite. So it's like every flavor needs to be intense so that you really enjoy this particular uh, reta. So if you enjoyed this recipe and you want to see more from us, be sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to our channel because first of all, it's absolutely free and you'll be the first to know every time we post a new recipe. And enjoy your pineapple reta and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.